heads right there? Yeah, you watching the video. I'm really upset with you. Extremely upset with you. You guys have been suggesting that I get sprayed with a pressure washer for a long time. Way too long. And I'm upset because you guys think World's Strongest Bodybuilder, Houston Jones, can get hurt by pressurized water. <laughs> like, what? What? <laughs> the reason I am so upset is because you guys, you guys should know by now that my skin is so insanely invincible and leathery and diamond-esque that water, pressurized water, can't, can't do anything to me. That is why I'm bringing in Bro Labs Houston to do some tests on inanimate objects. He's gonna spray those bad boys down, okay? To show what happens to the average human. And then when he sprays me, you can see that absolutely nothing, nothing will happen. <laughs> wow, it's me, <laughs> Bro Labs Houston, back from sabbatical in Spain. Beautiful country. Don't even get me started on those ladies. Wow. Bodybuilder versus Houston gave me a call and he was like, hey, Bro Labs Houston, I need you to get over here fast to do some experiments on some inanimate objects, such as a watermelon, to show the viewers what it looks like when the average person, the average mortal human being gets sprayed by a power washer. Tastes good. Yeah, bodybuilder versus Houston is gonna really like that. <laughs> oh god! No! Get, we lost power. We lost shoot! More power! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the normal human being is really gonna hurt. Yeah, so you see right here, these are the guts of a human being. These are the... That's right. Next object, everyone's favorite drink, Mountain Dew Kickstarter. <laughs> it's delicious. Weston, let's do it. I would say this is almost as strong as me. Oh, wow. I think it's really strong. <laughs> Impressive, that Mountain Dew Kickstarter. Next object, though, is a banana, which represents the average human flaccid. Wow. Well, that was insightful. I hope Bodybuilder versus Houston learned something from that. But before he comes back, I need to get rinsed down a little bit. versus Houston, I just got out of my shower, found this watermelon half eaten out here. It's actually really good. Don't know why it's out here though. But anyways, Bro Labs Houston, he said, don't worry, bodybuilder versus Houston, this thing, no damage to you. You're, you're way too impressive. First target is the strongest shin in my body. My left shin. Let's do it. No, no. It's 
only slightly inflamed. Slightly peeled my skin off. Imagine if that was a normal person's leg. Well, my first trunkish shin took a little bit of damage, so time to go to my second trunkish shin, my right shin. Open down. Yeah. Yeah. channel now not so fast slime ball I got I got God in America on my side can you say the same now that my power level has increased by 9,000 percent due to this American flag speedo we must do a stronger stronger Nozzle. Ha! Let's do it. mid video damage report starting with my old shins as you can see they're uh, slightly slightly red ripped my skin there a little bit other shin I uh, guess it's my best shin is better stronger I guess here's my forearm uh very red you know nice nice redness to it and now uh, I had a glancing blow on this forearm very very glancing Ripped uh, top layer of skin. Just think if I wasn't me. As you can see, nothing happened. I'm gonna start calling you. Three spots? Three spot Houston. Three spot Jones. Spot patches. New rap name. <laughs> Three spots. All right, okay. Three spots. Report number dose. Okay, first one was my shoulder. As you can see, only a slight skinning. Just imagine if that wasn't Houston Jones, world's strongest bodybuilder. Their shoulder would have been ripped off. They wouldn't have had an arm anymore. Next spot, my back. And as you can see, probably nothing at all. I can't see my back, so I'm just assuming there's nothing on my back. If you can't see the blood or pain, it doesn't exist. Write it down, okay? Last one is my chest. Uh, I can see that slightly, so I have a slight amount of skinning on my chest. It's really not a big deal at all. I mean, I feel great. It's now been three days later since I've been pressure washed, and I'm back to show you what my skin looks like because I read all the comments, and there's been a small vocal minority that have been heckling me saying that my challenges aren't up to up to snuff anymore, you know? They're not good enough, you know? I'm not taking enough damage. Well, I said that's poppycock! 
complete blasphemy, you hear? Now look at this. Tell me this is not up to par. Look at my, my poor chest, skinned, just terribly skinned and bruised, and my forearm flayed like a beautiful fish, okay? And then you got my shoulder over here. Ew. And then my other shoulder, also, ew, okay? And that's three days later. It's a good thing I heal so insanely fast and I don't feel any pain because it would really hurt. Thanks uh, for watching the video. I hope you guys had a good time. As you can see, I conquered another challenge. Super easy for me. So you know what you need to do? You need to like the video. <laughs> You need to like the video, okay? If you don't like it, I'm gonna hunt you. I'm gonna hunt you down, okay? I'll find you. Also, comment down below what you wanna see next on Bodybuilder versus or Bro Labs. And of course, thank you to the patrons that support this channel. Cause without you guys, we couldn't be doing whatever's happening right now. And of course, subscribe, please! Please, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.